A major end time revival is coming. Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And I want to kind of condense it a little bit for the sake of time. This is so exciting about a man who heard what Jesus has planned for the last days. All right. <clears throat> Alec was driving down a busy street in 2016 when he suffered a massive heart attack. He slumped forward on the steering wheel. Traffic stopped around him and a woman rushed over to his car. She opened the door and tried to get him out, but he was locked in with his seatbelt. As she struggled with freeing him, she failed to turn off the ignition and the car started moving. The car increased in speed and got up to 30 miles an hour. She was still hanging on to his vehicle. When she saw they were going to hit a car, she let go and fell onto the pavement. Miraculously, she wasn't killed. She pulled herself together and ran several yards. The young woman was a corrections officer who just left her shift. She started CPR, but was certain Alec was dead. An ambulance just happened to be caught in the same traffic jam as Alec. A few doctors raced over and started working on him. They resuscitated him five times, which means he died five times. They put him in the ambulance and raced to the hospital. Alec was dead. Doctors could find little reason for hope, but then Alec surprised them. They didn't know what to do with me. I came back to life. I was thrashing about, punching them, and I came back to life. They were stunned. That's Alec talking. According to the MRI, my heart was badly damaged because one of the main arteries was blocked. They put a stent in. The hospital also discovered pneumonia in his lungs. So they placed Alec in an induced coma following his surgery. My heart was so badly damaged, they said to my wife, there is a possibility I would have a 10% chance to live. If I survived, I would be a vegetable. <clears throat> But God was about to demonstrate his power in a way that would surprise the doctors. And while Alec was hovering between life and death, he was transported to another place beyond this world. In front of me was like a veil, Alec recounts. I was at the gates of hell, but not in hell. Everything appeared two-dimensional to him, like he was watching TV. Then he heard a voice say, Jesus, I know, but you, I don't know. But to his right, another voice said, I am the Lord God. I am going to heal you and make you new. Alec recognized that Jesus was speaking to him and he could read Alex's thoughts. Jesus's presence provided the light for Alec to see. <clears throat> Others there could not see him nor hear him. Then the Lord impressed on his heart. I will do what I want to bring you healing. I will show you the power of the Holy Spirit. Then an astonishing sight met Alec. Around me was a sea full of people, he recounts. I couldn't see their faces. They were joined together in chains. Jesus impressed on his heart. These people call themselves Christians, but they could not forgive their brothers and sisters. Jesus instructed Alec to pay attention to the parable of the unforgiving servant and explained its meaning. I was taking this all in, 
He only allows you to remember what he wants you to remember. I can't add to what he told me. During his near-death experience at the gates of hell, Alex says that Jesus also told him that a worldwide revival is coming that will be greater than the Azusa Street or the Welsh revival. There will not be anything like it, Jesus told him. It is not just people getting saved, Alec adds. It is the bride being made perfect, without spot or blemish. The Lord communicated to him, What the world deems insignificant is what I am going to use in this revival. Alec was in the coma for three weeks. During that time, doctors debated about whether or not to turn off his life support. But then God breathed new life into Alec's body. He said, hmm, they were going to switch off the machine. God brought me back to life. It, it is a medical fact that I was dead for 20 minutes in the hospital. My brain is now at 100%. Praise God, everything changed. I am one miracle after another. After Alec came out of the coma, the head ICU nurse told his wife, your husband's vital signs are at 100%. The next morning, Dr. Matthew Worthley, a cardiologist and professor at Royal Adelaide Hospital, came into his room, looked at his file and said, you were dead, but you're alive. You're a miracle. Other doctors were equally amazed. At the surgery, there was a vascular heart surgeon, Dr. Raja. He shook his head and said, I was there when you came back to life. I was there when they took the MRI of your heart. It was so badly damaged. I can't understand it. There is no sign of a heart attack, no sign of scarring. Your heart is working at 100%. Alec left the hospital and got a standing ovation from the staff. He recalls, they said, this is the guy who was dead and came back. I, thank all, I thanked all the nurses and doctors. <clears throat> there were doctors, there were tears. Alec is grateful to be alive but he's more excited about what God is doing. I believe the bridegroom is coming soon. Two years, five years, 10 years, I don't know when, but it sure is exciting. He thinks God will use the current U.S. president in the revival that's coming. Impossible things are happening, says Alec. The bride is going to be beautiful. Her appearance, her apparel, her beauty. What a testimony. Wow. What do you think?